WWE higher-ups are said to be frustrated with title confusion. Also, is a new Raw Championship being unveiled tonight? And we have a look at future plans for the WWE Universal Championship. More on that in this video. Hello everyone, Jack and Ross here with the news. Has hay fever claimed you yet? It has hit me like a Gunter chop. Yeah, same. It's, it, this is the first weekend at least that it has and now I'm oh it's been months now. Jack it's oh. been ever since February it's terrible oh fair enough I'm not joking um, WWE are said to be frustrated with title confusion according to a report from Fightful Select uh, they've been talking about two different cases of confusion regarding the titles yeah they say one point of frustration we heard from WWE sources was a simple misuse of the term undisputed in two cases Roman Reigns' title is being referred to as an undisputed title despite Seth Rollins also being a world champion. Asuka's new championship has been und has got undisputed on the front of it, despite Rhea Ripley also being a women's champion. One higher up in the WWE said that's admittedly confusing. I don't know why there is an insistence on doing that, and a lot of people have brought that up, and it's been dismissed. I so guess, shut up. I guess they think, the only thing I can think of is that WWE are assuming that to the audience, undisputed means good Really good belt. But not, not quite the only thing. <laughs> Even though by <laughs> definition it should mean the, the only, only thing. thing. Yeah, um, Yeah, you can see the point of frustration there. It was very weird to see Asuka. Just, I just checked the render upstairs thinking this is going to be false, this. But now you go on the WWE.com superstar section. It says women's undisputed champion on a big Easter egg oh. shiny wrapper belt. Even though as far as I can tell, the name of the belt is the WWE Women's Championship. Yeah. Not undisputed women's championship. But it says it. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, very confusing. It is confusing. Uh, there could be more title confusion or at least title developments tonight on Raw because on Friday we saw Asuka get this new WWE Women's title it's, it's undisputed but not the only one exactly it, because she was holding the Raw Women's Championship Rhea's holding the Smackdown one but they've switched brands but they've not switched the belts uh, so Asuka's got this new one the name was according to Fightful Change to clean up this Smackdown Raw title mess uh, does this mean then that there is going to be more Ross on tonight's Raw yes Probably. <laughs> uh, five full selectors saying there's more to come until the Rhea Ripley's championship will be receiving some other sort of adjustment as well. Either in name or appearance, it's very likely that people seem to think that we'll get the white strap with the sort of World Heavyweight Championship that Seth, that, that Seth Rollins has got on uh, Rhea Ripley's white strap, potentially. Just to keep the brand uniformity going. Yeah. I, I, I don't know whether at first I was thinking, oh, it's too confusing. It was just, they could have just made it the raw and smacked that. But then I thought, actually... This is what this is how it used to be. Yeah, it was how it used to be. Then. Yeah, it's just that undisputed. They, if they got rid of undisputed and just came up with a different thing, <laughs> it, 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 it's because they've got to make Romans seem like the best, isn't it? Yeah, it's the undisputed world, undis univ undisputed world, universal. Ooh, ooh. It's the ooh, ooh, which is too wordy for me, and it's. It, just call him a WWE champion. Yeah, I guess it works if you've got him as the, you know, the linchpin, the one champion yeah. at the very top. When you've got two on separate brands, you can't have one be undisputed and the other one be, unless you want it to be presented as a secondary title, on, which they don't want to be, do they? On Earth, Seth Rollins is the champion. Mm -hmm. But when you expand that to the whole universe, right? if, if WWE holds a show on Saturn, Every chance. Roman will be recognised as the only... They'll turn away from Seth. They'll go get away. You You're not our world champion. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, Gunter has hit a WWE milestone as well. He's passed one full year as Intercontinental Champion. Uh, he will also this month surpass Jeff Hardy's 368 combined days as champion. Dolph Ziggler's 372 combined days as champion. And he closes in, of course, on the record held by the Honky Tonk Man of 454 days. That will get passed, I reckon. Or surpassed. Yes, I think it. I think it probably will. Doesn't Triple H? No, tri what I was talking about. I was going to say doesn't Triple H hate the Honky Tonk Man? No, he doesn't. Probably. He, he probably shared. I, I was trying to think what has he got in common with him, but they both got squashed by the Ultimate Warrior. Can hold a hell of a tune, the pair of them. Triple H can, yeah. As we saw that performance of Moana back in the day on that talk show. Yes, it, it sounded uncanny. Um, but yeah, I think Gunter will pass it as well, especially as long as Trip. The only way I can see it not happening is if Vince decides no. But yeah. as long as it's down to Triple H and continues to be down to Triple H, I think he'll have him surpass the record. I keep forgetting about Vince being in the background, making certain oh. calls as and when he wants to, because there was that famous one back in the day when Gunter did that powerbomb spot with uh, R-Truth that apparently that meant that Vince now wasn't hot on him, so back to NXT, <laughs> went for a period of time. Remember those days? Very strange. Very strange indeed, yes. Um, oh, it's more title news. Oh, my God. It was announced on SmackDown that the women's tag team titles and the NXT women's tag team titles will be unified in the upcoming match between Ronda and Shayna and Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, or as they're now called, the Unholy Union. The Dragon and the Witch. The one's a dragon and one's a witch. Uh, this will 
uh, complete belt unification plans that, according to Fightful, go back a long time. There were several in NXT at the time of the formation of the NXT Tag Team titles that were confused why they were being created in the first place. However, Fightful was told there were plans in order to combine the NXT and the WWE Women's Tag Team titles uh, going back to April when the draft occurred. Uh, and apparently, reg with regards to the wider women's tag division in NXT, Fife will say, we've been told that the WWE women's tag team titles will appear on NXT programming when needed, as was the original plan for the WWE women's tag team titles when it was like Sasha and Bailey. Yeah, and, Sasha uh, and Bailey didn't sacrifice everything for this no. current state of play in the women's tag team ranks. Uh, WWE sources also indicate to Fightful that this unification would have moved forward quicker if not for unfortunate injuries within the division. It seems to happen a lot. Obviously, Liv Morgan being the most recent one with a show shoulder yeah. um so yeah I, th I think it's a good thing to have the floating champions as well and as we're seeing this is a potential of seth rollins going over to nxt to face Bron breaker oh. at the moment we'll probably find out the answer to that uh, to that tonight on raw so why the hell not have a completely continuous universe across all the shows absolutely speaking Lovely. of the universe there's more news about the undisputed wwe universal championship lots of belt news but it's not because it's all been lumped together this all has occurred at the same time this news i think it's just triple h is undergoing a period of belt management wants to Belt sort management. out all this belt, yeah. Bloody He's going to consolidate all of his belts into easily manageable belts. Um, he said, uh, no, he hasn't said anything. Uh, <laughs> apparently, according to Fightful, they've got an update on the, the lineage of the unit, on the undisputed Universal and the WWE title once Roman loses that now combined belt. Yeah, they're saying the, the sources claim to Fightful that, that technically the, the Universal and WWE Championship histories are still separate, but said that they believe the WWE title's history will be com uh, continued once Reigns loses the championship, whenever that may be. I don't understand what that means. Is it it, it says, either is a thing or it isn't a thing. It says here, <laughs> in short, the WWE title lineage will continue, but will go under the name Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. So I don't think they're going to throw away the lineage of Buddy Rogers, Bruno Sammartino, and all the rest. Because <laughs> that's the fear, isn't it? Because obviously the, the big blue one is the Universal title. That was the one that started mm. the reign that Reigns is currently on. So what has it been for the Dury title, yeah. which dates back 60-odd years? But the, I, I'm a bit worried though. I know I've just said they they won't do that, but New Japan did. They did threw they? away their lineage of like nearly a hundred champions and made this new one that's got now like three champions. And something. that worked well for them, didn't it? No, no. Yeah, I didn't. No, think people, so. people hate it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there we go. There you have it. Um, thank you very much for watching this news video. We will be back later on today with more wrestling news as well. Anything to plug? Just let us know what wrestling championships you have that you're going to make up this weekend because it seems <laughs> like everyone's going to do it. AEW probably got a new one coming soon. That's a scandalous rumour for my part, but, you know, it just seems to be Title Monday. Absolutely. Hashtag Title Monday. And on this very title... Uh, title Monday. <laughs> And on this very title Subscribe Monday, to titleselect.com. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. And we'll see you very soon.